So for today, we're going to be looking at the Dawning 2023. So if you guys don't know, this is the last week of Dawning. Hopefully, I'll have this up like as early as I can. So that way you guys can see it. I am so sorry that this took forever. It's just the holidays, everything that's been happening. And uh, yeah, it's just for me personally, it's just been a really busy month. So I do apologize that this video is late as hell. But there's other content creators that I've been posting videos. So hopefully you guys watch that. This is mostly just going to be looking at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts on it. It's not going to be a super long video. So I would really much appreciate a like comment and all that would be very much appreciated. Other than that, let's look at this armor. So to start off, I really like this armor. Let me just say that off the bat. I think this armor is super dope. I love the hunter specifically just because of the fact that we get an owl helmet. We get like a really cool cloak. And like my only biggest annoyance is the little like fur balls at the feet. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, the fur balls on the chest piece is fine. I don't really get bothered by that too much, but I think the arms being symmetrical is a dub and I do like the arms. I just think the arms could have like the specifically the shoulders, not shoulders, the no. Yeah, the shoulder, not shoulders. What's it? What's it called? The, uh, the armor on the shoulder. I forget what it's called, but that I feel like that could have been like some fur, like maybe some like fur that goes that kind of connects with the cloak. I think that would have been super dope. But for the Titans, I think the helmet is super dope. I think the arms are pretty cool. Chest piece is really cool. I think the mark is really cool. I think the boots are probably the best piece from the whole set aside from the helmet. And then Warlock's helmet is super dope. Chest piece is super dope. Arms are super dope. Boots are probably the weakest and the bond I don't really care for. So I actually really like this armor so much so that I have made some sets with the, these pieces already. I'm going to be real that Titans have the best helmet right now. That helmet is so majestic. My only gripe and well, you guys will see this when we get to the shadering is the fact that I think the helmets take shaders really, really terribly compared to everything else, which let's just get into the shadering. So as you guys can see, I think the the Warlocks have the best shadering or glow, I should say, just because the Titans, it's literally just the middle of that stone that really is bright. And then everything else is super dark. And then when you start turning it, you see the, the glow. Same thing with the Hunters. The eyes are kind of dark on the sides. And then when you see everything else, like the Hunters specifically, you see the dots. All of that is like a really bright color. Uh, for me specifically, I'm looking at Abyssinian Gold. A lot of it's really like that really deep red. Or it's a red. And then you see the helmets and you're just like, why is there some black in the sides? I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I don't, I'm not against like the blackness of the sides, but I feel like it's too much black. I feel like it should recede on the corners of the helmet, not like the whole side almost. So that's like my biggest issue with the shadering, but the shadering is super dope uh, Every on everything but the helmets. Warlocks, I think the helmet's fine. Just like you get, you you can see a clear like darkness within, like a black color. Again, I'm I'm seeing Abyssinian gold right now, and for the warlocks, you can definitely see like a darkness around the sides, but it's not as deep as the hunters or titans. So that's like my biggest issue. So that is pretty much it. I don't like to make these videos too long, just because again. I just give you my thoughts and then just show you the armor because again, it's nothing too crazy to talk about. I will say the only annoyance is the fact that like with this, um, with this armor, it is $20 each. So that is a very big negative. Just be, not 20, 15. It's still a lot. Personally, I prefer me personally. If they were like, what price would you put on it? I put like five bucks on each armor just because not only are a lot of people going to not really because like my, my thing is like five dollars for an armor set is i feel like it'd be a lot more 
because a lot more people would actually be willing to spend money on that armory because five bucks not a lot it'd be 15 bucks for all the classes it would not only uh push people to play play their classes more because maybe the warlock one's gonna be super cool if you're a hunter man you're like man i want to play my warlock now because that set looks amazing like i can justify five bucks 15 bucks the only reason i get the armor is because i dying for 20 bucks is it 20 bucks i don't know oh i think it is 20 i'll have the correction in the comments but yeah it's i can even 10 bucks i can i could see myself being like 10 bucks is not that crazy i know that's oh it's only five dollars difference but it it adds up considering like 30 bucks doesn't sound as terrible as what 45 bucks so on each armor set assuming we're getting it for 15 bucks if it's 20 dollars per armor now that's 60 bucks compared to 30 so i don't know i personally think five five dollars at most ten dollars would be a, like a good choice that being said they probably would want people they would probably want the pricing to be like f what 16 bucks so that way you have to spend an extra like five bucks to get yeah i don't know uh it's terrible but it is what it is let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point let me know what you guys think about the armor again i really like the armor but i would love to talk about it in the comments below be safe i will see you guys later